Well, her dying wish is to become a Chicago police officer. This afternoon, cops made that dream a reality for the six-year-old girl in hospice care. Here's CBS 2 Suzanne Lemonyo. 645 Alvarez, uh, White. The focus of this roll call at the 6th Police District in Gresham is to bring cheer to a young girl with a rare muscle cancer. That picture and that smile to me is a true hero. Officers leave the station heading to that hero's home. Her name is Madison Pruitt. The six-year-old has been battling cancer since the age of five. It went into remission but came back between Thanksgiving and Christmas last year. Madison has always wanted to be a Chicago police officer. Today, her dream became reality. Asked why she wants to be a cop, the six-year-old said, Because you can to protect people. Mounted police even made the trek. Officers lined the sidewalk, each with a red and blue balloon for Madison. Today, I'm going to make it official and make you a lifelong Chicago police officer. <laughs> Congratulations. She was not only presented with a Chicago police hat, but a Valor Award and a Medal of Valor too. It was donated by uh, one of the lieutenants who actually earned that, okay? So now that's, this is for you because you're a brave little girl and you are the reason why we do what we do. Madison's grandmother shed tears during the presentation. I'm overjoyed it. it's well, with all this love okay. for my baby. <laughs> you don't know. Sergeant Ernest Spradley took the call from Madison's hospice social worker to help the little girl's dream come true. I kind of was anticipating we might be able to set up a little meet and greet for her, um, perhaps with one officer. I never imagined that it would be this much, so it's, it's pretty incredible for Madison. The page in the book of uh, Courageousness is not written by Chicago police officers, but it's written by a little girl that's up there on the porch uh, spending time with us, and for that we're grateful and proud. Madison was supposed to attend roll call and toured the station, but she was just too weak today to do it. Her grandmother asked us to tell everyone watching today to help find a cure for childhood cancers. Do whatever you can. Donate, get involved in organizations. She said children should not be dying before the adults in their lives. Live in the newsroom, mm -hmm. Suzanne Lemonyeau. CBS 2 News. So true. And Suzanne, what a precious little girl to see her surrounded by all that love from those in the community. And you could tell she really felt it. And you know, Madison's grandma wasn't the only one shedding tears. No. Oh, I cried. Yeah. Oh. Every, yeah. All the reporters cried. You, you could not how can help you, but have how a can heart you not? for that child. A sweetheart. Absolutely. Great story. Thanks. Thank you.